Hey guys, it's Olivier Roustin, Creative Director of Barman. I hope you're all fine and safe. We are together, we are in my house, we are in Paris. Just wanted to spend some time with you on YouTube and review one of my favorite fashion shows for 2014, a show that we always remember. It changed my life, it changed my career. So let's review it together. So yeah, this is my Barman for the winter 2014. Uh, it's one of my favorite show. It's when we started um, Balman Army. Um, so many memories, so many things behind the scenes that people don't know. It's um, but it's a, it's an incredible an incredible fashion show and the beginning of so many things. And I think as well the fact that Jordan Dunn was opening my show, I was just like, this is insane. Because I was obsessed with it. Remember the catwalk was so long, so, so long, like it's crazy. Yeah, it was just like infinite, like uh, never ending. I, my career started, I think, if with Bauman for like in 2011 for my first fashion show 2012. But at the end of the day, you know, I think I need two years to definitely express a vision and I think Africa collection, I call this Africa, was definitely like uh, the starting point. We started the Bauman Army because um, I realized that there was there were so many fights um, at that time to to be free, to express what you feel, to to sometimes going against the rules, the fashion rules, the fashion system. Uh, I remember at that time. There were not so many, um, there was not so much diversity and uh, I remember that I was pushing so much like agencies, casting directors to, to, to just change, to have a, a diverse casting, different girls, uh, bringing some different ages on the runway, different colors, different ethnicities. And, um, and I think that's why we started the Bowman Army because I understood that we need to fight, we need to, to, to kind of make a revolution in fashion because I realized that he was not representing enough um, the world that we are and the world that I believe in. Uh, and it was the moment when I started uh, my big, big relationship with, with Rihanna. Uh, I remember like uh, uh, during my show, she came in backstage. Actually, I asked her, um, I asked her to get married. <laughs> it was the, it was uh, the beginning of our, our our love and friendship, I mean, definitely was a great experience. Um, it, was a, it, not, it was not an easy show because a uh, lot of uh, couture and craftsmanship. I remember the look, um, I, I think it was the look, uh, you know, it was the yellow dress uh, that Kim worn in the, it was the white dress at the end, but I mean, I painted it into yellow the night before the show. So all my team went crazy and they were working like, uh, like nonstop and uh, myself as well. We were just like painting and painting this dress to make sure that uh, it becomes yellow because I didn't have enough pop color and everything was khaki, black, dark navy, some brown. And I had a bit of orange and a touch of yellow and I was like, I need to have a yellow, I need to have yellow, I need to have yellow. So that was that dress, uh, super expensive and super like uh, couture. And we, we decided to, to paint it in yellow because I needed one piece in yellow. And I think this dress, Naomi Campbell worn, uh, Kim um, won, I think it was in Cannes uh, in 2015, I think, for summer. Um, but the dress that she was wearing was actually the color from the, from the beginning. Um, and Naomi won the yellow one. And, uh, and I think Rihanna won as well the yellow one for this incredible photo shoot that we did with Iman, Naomi and her. So yeah, this, 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 yeah, this show was something pretty, pretty epic for me because it started like a vision that today I, I still push, which is the Bauman Army, the Bauman Diversity. And I started as well to work uh, with Kendall. I remember, I think she, she won, uh, you know, this kind of green, it was made of uh, PVC uh, thread, um, super like kind of a bottle glass. Um, and she flew from LA to wear that dress for the, 
a dinner that we had in Paris, a rock foundation, and Kim as well uh, uh, flew from Paris for just for flew from LA for just for one night, and that was as well really a beautiful night because it was like every everything started. I remember Binks as well was with us. Um, so yeah, it was an incredible night, and um, it's like, you know, it feels so long ago. 2014 is like six years ago. We were babies, and uh, and um, and everything started. I remember Kendall was like, uh, I was made. I met her like, I think it was six months before my show, uh, this show, and uh, and I fell in love with her. I fell in love with her beauty, with her strength, with her uh, dynamism, and uh, and so now I'm super proud of. Uh, of all what she achieved. I met Cara as well. One of my first uh, time with her was for this campaign uh, for 2014, when it was definitely the beginning of the Barman Army. And there we started our friendship with Cara. I think as well, I remember like the, the night of the my after party was incredible. He was with, with Ri as well when she came and he was, all barman look and she was wearing like um, a, to uh, a, a, um, a top that was uh, uh, completely see-through and we could see the nipples and I think there started like the freedom nipple um, and there I remember like we were like oh my god oh my god but at the end of the day that that was a, a moment where uh, I mean started all the all the movement of freedom nipple and I think she started this so well and it was so strong so yeah yeah, I mean, he was at the, at the cabaret. Um, he, um, oh. ah. What's the name? Crazy Horse. Yes, it was at the Crazy Horse. And uh, it's really old French cabaret and, and we really enjoyed. There was Rosie Huntington White there as well at that time. Yeah, it was just a, an era of uh, an entire Barman army starting and uh, strong woman. It was it was pretty impressive when when we did this photo shoot for W with Rihanna, Iman, and Naomi. I think that was definitely a dream come true because three strong beauties from different generation, all of them so uh, powerful and so activist. So it was I knew that this moment would be iconic. The first one that came that arrived was uh, Rihanna after Iman and after Naomi, and when they all get dressed together. It felt so strong. It was so empowering. As well, I think what I love about this collection and it's, it's inspired me so much on uh, creating my collection for H&M because I took a lot of elements from, from, from this collection to try to reproduce uh, for the H&M collection because H&M was all about hashtag Barman Nation uh, so it was the army gets bigger, but there was a lot, a lot of details from this collection that I took. So yeah, this is one of my favorite show. I call this show the Africa. Bye guys, thank you so, so much. Hope you liked it, but don't forget we're on YouTube. So like, comment, subscribe, anything. Let us know if who is your favorite Batman Army member, what is your favorite fashion show. Like that, we can just talk about it together. Mwah.